Yo, home hearties, and welcome to episode 116, and I'm joined again by you, Nightmare Ink Crystal. <laughs> so, I, t today's a bit weird. I don't want to be working on the base at all. I don't want to be working on the base, because I'm getting annoyed with the base. I want to deconstruct that house, but I'm getting bored of the moss and the cliff and the everything and the bricks. But, I am still going to be doing something that's going to help with the base. So what I'm going to be doing is making a, a bigger melon and pumpkin farm basically because this one's tiny and the villagers, I use them to get the emeralds to buy the bricks so I need more melons and pumpkins. So we're just gonna basically come over here and there's this nice large flat area, I might even like get rid of this hill here and me and you, we're going to build a massive melon farm together. Which is, which is going to be, I don't know how fun. Alright, while I am over here though, we might as well look at Dave's Newspaper Incorporated. Wonderful Dave that I still can't zoom in on because no Optifine for some reason. Last episode, the paths are extended and the first house is complete yet may be destroyed in the future. No special shout out, still no new subscribers. Got a bit sad at the end, didn't it? Why have you, why have you got an axe next to my dog? And is this what we're doing then? Are we, are we ending up playing like it or tag or whatever you want to call it? Why does it have so many names? Like, that game has so many names. Oh, I missed you. There we go. No! No! <laughs> we're gonna die one day doing this. Oh no, I destroyed my flower. Oh no, where did that go? Uh, that was there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I might as well go and trade with the villagers while they are here. So, hello, where is my cartographer? How do- it's you. You're the cartographer. You're not my cartographer. Mm. What are you hiding in the bushes that whole time? Did I just send an arrow into the nether? You know how you organised all of these chests? Like, you, you spent ages taking everything out and putting it all over there. I've completely ruined it. Like, if you look over in the chests over there, um, I have completely ruined it. Also, you're looking at... Did you just punch the horse? Practically a crime here, like, you, you can't punch the horse. I also apparently don't have an axe, and I think you've got all of my diamonds. You, you have all of the diamonds that we've got here, because you took them and put them in your chest, which I still can't understand. I don't understand your storage system. It's like, what do any of these mean? I, I it's like, there's, there's a bucket here. Okay, that's for lava. How am I supposed to know that's for lava? Like, and then, that's, that's just random arm. In fact, I have stuff for that chest. You can have that. Then you've got... Is that a workstation? Why why is there item frames in there as well? I'm so confused by it. And then uh, fire charge means never apparently. What? I, I don't understand it. Why why just fire charge mean never? Okay, so but we can't name everything. That that's the problem. I it's, it's so confusing. I missed! That's not fair! I do have an axe, I'm going to go and pick up all of these melons. And actually, here's something you can do. Can you get rid of all of the crops? Because I, I just want to move all of these. So, y you can just punch them. You, you can also keep the seeds. I just need you to remove everything. Because mm, basically, this whole farm is going to be moving. I need this whole farm gone. I'm going to move it over the other side of the hill. And I'm not sure how big it's going to be. But I kind of just want to make it as big as possible. While also making it as easy to destroy as possible. Because I don't want the farm to be permanent. So... I, I, I want to make it so that in the future I can take the farm and basically just destroy it all at once without the use of TNT, which is quite uncommon for me. But yeah, I basically want the farm to be like as, as efficient as possible that I can make it and like fairly good size 
but I need it to be able to be destroyed in like probably five or ten minutes, which is not an easy task. It's not easy to make something good and yet also destroyable. Thank you. That is a good starting point. 50 seeds for each. So, I I don't know what else to say. Apparently, it's been a whole Minecraft day again, even though, like, I slept at the start of this. So, yeah, the plan is remove that hill, flatten out this area here, get a load of buckets of water, which is good. There's actually a pond here. I didn't know about that. And then we're basically just going to plant a load of crops, and then... If there's time left in the video, which there probably will be, I don't think this is a huge task. I'm going to basically do everything I can to get as many bricks and as much quartz as possible. You, you don't need to do that, it will just slowly cover over once we remove the water. Okay, cool. I, I, I guess you're doing that. But anyway, so that is enough rambling. So, on to the time lapse. So, end of time lapse, and I, I was hoping to get more done, but that actually took an hour, so I, I'm gonna leave it there, I'm not doing any more work, because I've run out of time, which is annoying. And, I have just done a quick harvest, oh yeah, I, I will mention that, don't worry. I have just done a quick harvest of the melons and the pumpkins, and I also got the beetroots by accident. So, we have two stacks and 21 pumpkins. A stack and 36 melons and a stack and 12 beetroot and that's from just harvesting the back I never harvested the wheat but that that's insane and that's going to be a lot of emeralds which will hopefully hopefully be very useful in the actual um, construction of the Greek base <laughs> that's the right word so Knight also invented this wonderful thing which basically it, it's it's just a bone mill machine isn't it is that is that what you call it what are my neighbors doing with metal outside I really hope that you can't hear that so yeah I just realized they might have heard me complaining oh well so basically I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate it with 12 beetroot you just put stuff in the top it goes into the composters, and I forgot that I put emeralds in there. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is me dumping anything I can into the into the stuff. And I don't think we actually got any bone meal. That that's disappointing. Um I'll just put the 21 pumpkins in there as well. So it fills up the composters, and then the bone meal goes in there. So Right, I'm gonna quickly go over here. Am I getting the new Minecraft music? Yes, okay, I might get a copyright story. I don't know. I don't think it is actually copyright. So, with this wonderful profit that we've made, if we just come down here and talk to the wonderful villagers that are here voluntary and definitely not through um, being forced, I hear a zombie burning to death. So, Mr. Wonderful Villager, you're the only one that takes beetroot. You take pumpkins and melons, and I can see that you're blocking the trades, which is why we have multiple of you. You take carrots. I don't have carrots. Do I have carrots? Do we have carrots? I don't, I don't think we have carrots. Maybe we do. So, if we take those, I'm also leveling up all of the farmers here as well. Do we have any more to take melons? Come on, surely someone wants a melon. You want a melon. You're selling that. Right, you've just upgraded, so what do you now sell? You self-suspicious stoop. 50 emeralds. We just got 50 emeralds. Just from that one harvest. So, if... If we actually filled that up, oh my gosh, he's just like leveled up again. If we harvested everything, oh wow, we've now got golden carrots and stuff. If we harvested everything we could, like everything possible that we could from that farm at once, 
we would hopefully get more as well. You block after 11 quarts. Thank you, that's wonderful. So, if we harvested everything, we could get more than 50 emeralds. And if we just got some more stone masons as well, which is also what is now holding us back from profit, if we got more stone masons in the future as well, this could be so profitable for us. This 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 is going to go so well. This is this is the best idea I've had all, all the ow. Do I refer to it as seasons? I feel like I should stop. We have carrots. I didn't know we had carrots. When did we get carrots? That that poor spider was doing absolutely nothing to you, Knight. Okay. That that's good news though. So we 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 have carrots. So that means I'm gonna extend this off camera as well. I really want to add the carrots because the carrot the the carrots would also be a lot of profit. Stop doing whatever you're doing outside. I don't. What are they building outside? You found a village and you sent me a screenshot of that. I I should go and do that in the next episode. So. Next episode, hopefully the carrots will be done by then. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely adding a carrot section to this farm. So that that's all I really have for this episode. And I don't know how long it's going to be because the intro, I don't know how much is going to be cut with it and stuff. But this has been brilliant. So this has been a lot of progress. It looks like there's more work than there is. I kind of feel like like there's a lot of work in it. But I feel like it looks like there's more because the plants actually being grown just kind of makes it look like we placed a lot more blocks than we actually did as well. But th this has definitely been one of the most productive episodes so far. And hopefully, due to it being Christmas and um, a lot of time at home now, hopefully the episodes can be longer and we make more progress. Just say, yeah, I'm out of I'm out of um, fences for that. I, I need more spruce fences. So yeah, definitely one of the most profitable episodes um, recently, and really productive. So that that is unfortunately going to end the episode here though, because I I don't have anything else to do. I'm also going to try and work on expanding that villager farm as well, because we just need more masons. That's that's mainly the problem as well, so we can get loads of bricks, but as you can see, they, they deny us after 12 quartz blocks, which isn't going to help. We need, we need more than 12 if we're going to do this entire Greek base, so I think I'm going to expand the villager area off camera as well, just to get more villagers, because we need more masons and more quartz, but... You can see how this is all coming together. Everything here now has a purpose. So the farm helps us get emeralds, which helps us get blocks, which helps us build the base. It all revolves around this. It kind of all revolves around villagers. But yeah, so that's going to end this episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Do you have anything to say? Wonderful, because you can't even talk anyway. So I really hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.